Hey folks, welcome again to one of the most enthralling, exciting, entertaining and enlightening session of Sciences Camper for classes 6 to 8 by EduCatup and I am your super science teacher Ambika. At EduCatup, we always empower all our students as how to think and not what to think. So if you want to experience the same children, it's the right time to subscribe to the Educators YouTube channel. The subscription button is just given below guys. If you like our video, don't forget to press the like button and ensure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from Educator. Now without wasting further any time, let's start today's session. And the topic for the day is weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate definitely see wherever any living organism is residing is having his its or his or her own habitat a living organism always requires favorable conditions to grow and survive whether it's an animal whether a human being whether plants insects birds Every living organism always requires favorable conditions. Then only that organism can survive, can sustain life, can grow and can perform all the life processes. Now, for example, if we take the example of a cockroach, a cockroach resides in a dark and damp place because that's the kind of habitat in which it can grow, it can survive, isn't it? So that is why cockroaches are always found in dustbin cans in garbage areas so it depends on organism to organism that what are the favorable conditions now these favorable conditions are highly associated with the kind of weather or climate and according to it every living organism brings some or the other changes in the lifestyle in its body so we are going to you know discover all these aspects in this module so don't miss it up and don't stop watching it in between you have to watch it till the end so that you can have the complete info children now let's see that which topics we are going to cover under this we are going to cover the concept of weather then climate then factors affecting climate climate and adaptations in this we will uh, cover two basic areas that is the polar region and the tropical rainforest now let's start with the first topic and that is weather now what is weather weather is the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere of a particular place now this day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere is in relation with the temperature of that place, the humidity content of that place, then the rainfall at that place and the wind speed at that place. It is not constant. It is always changing. Weather is a condition which can even change even after two hours, maybe three hours, maybe four hours. So something which is changing continuously. Okay, it's not constant. It's not fixed. Then it covers a small geographical area. That means a small area has a particular kind of a weather. For example, if we talk about Indore. So Indore city has a particular geographical, uh, it's a geographical area and it has a particular weather. If we talk about Agra, it has a different weather. If we talk about Jaipur, it has a different weather. So weather is a condition for a small geographical area, not a big one, not the complete state not completely Uttar Pradesh, not entirely Rajasthan. So, for small geographical areas. Then, there is maximum and minimum temperatures. That means weather condition is basically identified with the help of the thing temperature. Now, temperature is maximum also and minimum also. And to measure this maximum and minimum temperature, we have maximum and minimum thermometers to get the temperatures. Then the elements of weather are basically temperature, then your uh, relative humidity or basically the humidity, your rainfall and wind. So these are basically the four most important parameters to understand weather. That is temperature, relative humidity, rainfall and wind. These four will decide that what kind of a weather will be there at a place. And weather is a always ongoing changing condition of atmosphere jo hamesha badalta rehta hai jo jaldi jaldi badalta rehta hai that is weather and it is not constant wo constant nahi hai wo fixed nahi hai wo change hota rahega so the weather condition which keeps on changing jo badalti rehti hai that is known as your weather okay 
Now let's move ahead. Now climate. What do we understand by climate? In general, if we talk about atmosphere, weather, climate, we all find them, you know, some kind of synonyms or ek jaisi terms hain. Sabka ek hi matlab hai vatavaran, jo bhi aspas ka mausam hai. But it's not the condition. You need to understand what is the difference between weather and climate. So now we are going to understand that what is a climate. So climate is a weather condition or it's an atmospheric pattern of a place for a very long time, may say for 25 years. पिछले 25 सालों से किसी भी जगह का एटमॉस्फेरिक कंडीशन कैसी है दैट इज इट्स क्लाइमेट नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट राजस्थान वी हैव अ परसेप्शन वी हैव अ थॉट प्रोसेस इन आवर माइंड दैट द क्लाइमेट ऑफ द प्लेस इज हॉट बिकॉज़ दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच हैज बीन ऑब्जर्वड फ्रॉम अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम बहुत लंबे समय से हमने देखा है इजंट इट चिल्ड्रन that it is a hot place if we talk about jammu and kashmir or if we talk about himachal pradesh like simla we have a thought process that it's a very cold place is bahut thandi jagah hai because we have seen that the atmospheric condition the pattern of atmosphere at these places is extremely cold zyada tar samay bahut thanda hi rehta hai isliye aap aisi jagah ka climate kaisa batate hain thanda batate hain so climate is a atmospheric condition which sustains or pertains for a very long time jo ek bahut hi lambe samay se chali aa rahi hai all right now <clears throat> agar kisi jagah ka temperature adhiktar zyada hi rehta hai to aap use kehte hain hot agar hot hone ke sang sang if you are finding a lot of rainfall also at that place then the climate will be hot and wet now it is constant for a place for example if i say rajasthan it is constant that it is hot wo hotness mein thoda kam zyada ho sakta hai but completely it's like simla ban gaya hai rajasthan can it happen no that's not possible so climate is a atmospheric condition which is like a light ka constant ke wo aise hi rahega usme thoda sa kam zyada ho sakta hai but ek overall condition waisi hi rahegi and it covers a large geographical area obviously if we talk about an entire state it's a very big area isn't it children so we have understood the difference between climate and weather weather is not constant climate is constant weather is a atmospheric condition which changes from time to time climate is a atmospheric condition which is fixed because of a pattern maybe since last 25 years or 30 years then it is for small job weather is for small geographical areas and climate is for larger geographical areas now let's move ahead now factors affecting climate climate means the atmospheric condition which pertains and sustains for a very long time jo bahut hi lambe samay se ek jaisa hai kisi bhi jagah ke liye now that climate is affected by these following factors like for example latitude altitude relief features ocean currents wind pattern vegetation and nearby water bodies in sabhi factors ka kisi bhi jagah ke climate pe bahut hi gehra asar hota hai it has a very deep impact if we talk about latitude latitude means that from equator to the poles the north pole and south pole what is the location so that affects then your altitude means what is the height above the sea level sea level se kitni unchai pe hai that then your relief features like mountains deserts soil rocks wo kis type ke hain then your ocean currents ocean currents ka kya flow hai wahan pe it's an a uh, sea coast or it's a normal land area it's a valley then vegetation and nearby water bodies what kind of trees what kind of vegetation do we have because agar trees zyada honge to rainfall zyada hoga to alag type ka weather condition aayega alag type ka climate aayega if there are no such vegetation then there will be a different climate nearby water bodies rivers are available or not or it's a complete dry area then wind pattern that means the wind speed is like what it's a dry wind it's a moist wind so you know all these factors affect the climate of a place to a much extent isn't it now let's move ahead action packed info guys something very exciting for you so pay attention it's time to update your knowledge due to earth's tilt seasons in northern hemisphere are almost opposite while it is snowing in canada there may be a heat wave in australia and both are in northern hemisphere now to understand this thing children you need to understand For example this is your earth and you know that it's tilted it's like this isn't it so because of this tilt the northern hemisphere this one canada and australia 
Australia is a continent, Canada is a country, Australia is also a country in itself. Both are present in Northern Hemisphere. But one is having a snowy kind of a thing and the other is having heat waves. Isn't it so different? Ek jage pe baut thandi hai, baraf hai and dusri jage pe it's like oof, so hot, heat waves. So that is how, because of the tilt. Because Earth is a side hui hai. It's not straight, it's tilted. So because of this, kahin pe sun rays direct aa rahi hai, kahin pe pahunchi nahi rahi hai. So because of that, there is a change. Alright, now let's move ahead. Now, climate and adaptation, as I have told you, that to survive, to sustain, and then to grow, to perform various life processes, organisms have to bring changes in their body. And they bring those changes. Now, those changes which they bring in their body or sometimes happen automatically after certain generations so that they can survive in a particular habitat, in a particular climate, are known as adaptations. Okay, now if we see the world is divided into eight major regimes or biomes according to the climate. Now each regime or uh, biome you can say has a different type of climate, soil type, animals and plants found in that region. Now adaptation is a structural, physiological or behavioral trait of an organism. Yani ke ya to uske body structure mein change aayega, uske kisi habit mein change aayega that is the behavioral thing ya uski kisi thinking thought process mein change aayega. So aisa koi bhi change jo kisi bhi organism mein aata hai taki wo jo bhi uska environment hai, jo bhi uska climate hai, uske stress ko, uski conditions ko wo survive kar paaye and that organism can live long. Those kind of changes are known as adaptation. Alright, now we are going to see that what adaptations are, have actually been into animals. Now let's move ahead. Okay, the first we are seeing for the polar region. Now if I say the polar region, I hope you all must be aware but it's no harm to just remember it once. This is your earth. So these are your poles. North pole. South Pole. So we are talking about these two regions. All right. So if we talk about these two regions, the polar regions present an extreme climate. That means very, very cold because they are at the top and the bottom of the earth and they are not getting the direct sun rays. Ek dham see these uh, sunlight nahi milti hai, isle bhot extreme climate dekha jata hai. These regions are covered with snow and it is very cold as I have told you. For six months, there is no sunrise and for the rest of the six months there is no sunset now just imagine children aap ghar se bahai nikle and it's night time you know that it's 9 pm and you can see the sun rising or the sun shining in the sky isn't it so strange i know it is but it happens in polar regions the sun does not set for the six months and it does not even Rise for the six months. Ab ab subhe chhe baje nikle and you know that it's 6 a.m. or it's 8 a.m. in the morning. But still you can't see the sun. You are seeing the dark sky. Isn't it so weird sometimes? But yes, this thing happens in at polar regions. So it's like a mixture of these things. Then <coughs> in winters the temperature is extremely low. As low as minus 37 degrees celsius or minus 37 degrees centigrade that much low temperature just imagine even in four or five degrees celsius in simla and you know these kullu manali kind of a places we start shivering and like oh my god now just imagine minus 37 degrees celsius i mean it's beyond imagination now let's move ahead now, adaptations shown by animals in polar regions. The first is polar bear. In polar bear, you can find few adaptations like fur. Its body is completely covered with fur or hair because it, you know, uh, it's a double layered kind of a thing. Do layer hoti and provides extra warmth. Usse zada gaimi milti hai. Plus the white color helps him to, you know, uh, get mixed with the snow so that nobody can do hunting of it. Oh, shikari, uska shikari na kar paai, wo snow ke sangi white color ki wajay se mix ho jata hai. Then the fat which is present on its body, it keeps it warm. Usse thand nahi lagti hai. Then if we see the paws, 
panje they are large widespread so no it helps him to swim and to move on the snow then nose is like uh, it's able to close its nostrils and stay under water for a very long time pani ke andar apne nostrils ko band karke wo bahut der tak reh sakta hai jisse ki wo chote chote you know jo prey hote hain jo shikar hote hain unhe le sake fishes ko kha sake so that these are the adaptations present in its body now let's move ahead penguins really very cute and beautiful birds these are actually flightless birds they can't fly they have thick skin and a lot of fat and which it protects them from cold bahut hi thick skin hoti hai uske niche bahut sara fat hota hai fat se kya hota hai it's a shock absorber plus it keeps the body warm to thandi lagti hai they remain huddled together they are always present in group you can't see a single penguin if you have seen the you know programs on discovery channel or national geographic you must be see, have seen that these penguins are always huddled together they are always in the group they never go alone so that they can keep themselves warm they are good swimmers they swim very well and their bodies are streamlined you know what is a streamlined shape that means uh, from the front and from the end it's narrow and broader in between just like the aeroplane or a boat so and they have a webbed feet and flippers for swimming webbed means they all are attached so that they can swim properly they're very cute birds i really like penguin now let's move ahead action packed info guys and something very interesting you must pay attention we are talking about migratory birds now you know what are migratory birds migratory birds are those birds which actually change their location they move to a different place due to the climatic or weather conditions now what exactly this action packed info is telling you some migratory birds travel as much as 15000 kilometers to extract escape the extreme climatic conditions at home and gradually they fly high where the wind flow is helpful and the cold conditions allow them to disperse the heat generated by their flight muscles but how these birds travel to the same place of year after year is still a mystery you know the bharatpur bird sanctuary in rajasthan is a very good location to see the migratory birds in winter season you know uh, birds from australia siberia they fly to bharatpur bird sanctuary in india in rajasthan now the question is that how these birds know the way how they know that they are in which direction they have to fly so that they can reach this place it is just a mystery many theories have been put up to understand this process but some people say they put the landmarks they identify the landmarks some people say that they you know they are guided by the stars in the night and some people say that you know they have this ability to understand the magnetic field of the earth and find the direction but exact and what is the perfect reason for this that is still unknown but isn't it really extremely i mean you can see the nature's uh, gift to these birds that whenever the weather condition or the climatic condition is not proper they fly to such huge distances 15000 kilometers and by flying really great now let's move ahead the tropical rainforest now the tropical rainforest is a region which generally has a hot climate because it is always near to the equator Now equator is the line which divides earth into two equal parts and it's an imaginary line children you know that now even in the coldest month the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degrees celsius that means minimum temperature even in winters will be around 15 degrees celsius and in summers the temperature goes across 40 degrees celsius extremely hot places days and nights are almost equal almost means kabhi thoda difference aa jata hai otherwise it's almost equal these regions get plenty of rainfall because of the forest because of the uh, tree cover now these forests tropical rainforests are basically found in western ghats and in assam in india other than that they are found in southeast asia central america and central africa now the major types of animals which are found in these uh, tropical rainforests are monkeys apes gorillas tigers elephants leopards lizards snakes birds and insects basically you have covered almost all isn't it now let's see further adaptations shown by animals in tropical rainforest now children you really need to see because these are something very different the first is this one which is the red eyed frog you can see the eyes of the frog are red 
these frogs always choose to live on trees their green color camouflages them against the leaves because they are green in color they are living on the trees so you know they are mixed with the leaves nobody can identify that a frog is sitting while the red eyes scare away you know the enemies and their eyes are extremely red so if somebody sees them gets scared oh my god what is that and their feet enables them to climb up the trees easily so now they have the adaptation their green color their red eye their feet all helps them in their survival sab unki madad kar rahe hain ki wo aaram se reh sake isn't it all right all my lovely children who are viewing this video if you have any doubts questions queries and if you give your valuable feedback please don't hesitate put the thing in the comment box below and your super science teacher ambika will definitely get back to you i'm sure you all must be liking this video so time to press the like button children now let's come back over here other than that the next is lion tailed macaque the lion tailed macaque is this animal it always stays on trees and it rarely comes down and its diet consists of fruits nuts flowers seeds and insects because as it's living on a tree obviously whatever is available on the tree that only it will consume isn't it now let's move ahead now the next is toucan toucan is a bird you know and it always wants a fruit from a weak a uh, branch so that you know uh, to support so that it can easily get it and it takes the fruit from its beak fatafat se wo snatch kar leti hai now the last but not the least uh, is elephants now elephants are some animals which we always have seen even in the city quite easily visible they have long trunk you know that and they have a very strong sense of smell also because of that it helps in them in picking up the food this uh, they have these white two tusks it helps in uh, breaking the bark of the tree for getting the food then they have large ears mm, and elephants have large ears it gives them you know a very uh, minute perception to hear even very soft sounds and it helps them to keep themselves cool and you know because re tropical rainforests are having a very warm climate so their ears they can flap like this and they can feel the coolness isn't it good adaptations so with this we have come to the end of this super amazing session today and i hope that you all must have subscribed to the educatives youtube channel children if you haven't done so do it right now guys i hope you all have loved the video so time to press the like button and for your super science teacher ambika it's time to sign out for the day but till the time we meet again be happy be safe and keep enriching yourself with educatup bye bye children